Right, so over the next two months, we're putting a new floor into here. And we're also going to be putting a new floor into here as well. So what that means is we're going to have to move lights, move sockets, uh, they'll be finding studs and all sorts of things. Hence, why I've got this Flybiz stud finder, stud cable finder. All right, so the Flybiz uh, stud and electrical and cable finder, etc., etc. It's pretty generic. There's lots of these um, on Amazon if you have a look at them. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll talk you through it, uh, through each of the settings and, and just how well it works. If you're going to be doing any DIY work, you need something like this. Um, and for the price that I've paid, <laughs> this is fantastic. So first things first, well, that's the battery that you get with it. So you don't need to go out and buy a battery, nine volt battery, just clicks in, close the lid. Right, when you turn it on, first thing that you'll see is uh, a stud and it says half inch. And if you go through that, inch, inch and a half. I'll show you in use in a moment, but what it says is always look for the studs using the half inch for some reason. So the next setting after the studs is metal. Then you're looking for uh, for a cable or AC, and then you're back to the stud again. You're on off button, which obviously speaks for itself. And then the button on the side, this is the calibration button. So let's go and see it in use now, and you'll see where the calibration button actually comes in useful. All right, so here we've got a plasterboard wall with studs behind it, and there's two studs that are in here. So if we pop that on there first, well, in fact, turn it on. So like I said, half inch setting for the stud, put it on the wall, and that button there, keep your finger on it, and you'll see this count down then it makes a noise. Now if I just pull this around here so that you can get a better view. All right, now if I run this over to one side, oh, there we go. Right, so you can see the bars. Let me just lift this up so that we can see it better. Right, so move it to over there. And as I come back, you can see the bars, they start to increase. It says center when you're in the center. It's a bit hard on my left hand, right? So that's saying it's in the center, and then that's basically saying that we're off it there. So back on, you see it going up in the center and then coming off on the other side. And if we come across further, you should see another one round about here. There we go. Oops, there we go. Right, so again, just hitting it there, going across. We've got the center, move it across, center, and then it starts to move off again. That's really straightforward, that. So let's look at the next one. All right, so here we've got a plasterboard wall with studs behind it, and there's two studs that are in here. So if we pop that on there first, well, in fact, turn it on. So like I said, half inch setting for the stud, put it on the wall, and that button there, Keep your finger on it and you'll see this count down then it makes a noise. All right, now if I run this over to one side, oh, there we go. right, so you can see the bars. Let me just lift this up so that we can see it better. Right, so move it to over there and as I come back, you can see the bars, they start to increase. It says center when you're in the center. It's a bit hard on my left hand, right? So that's saying it's in the center. And then that's basically saying that we're off it there. So back on, you see it going up in the center and then coming off on the other side. And if we come across further, you should see another one round about here. There we go. Oops, there we go. Right, so again, just hitting it there, going across. We've got the center, move it across, center, and then it starts to move off again. That's really straightforward, that. So let's look at the next So here one. what we'll test is for metal under the surface. 
put it onto the screen, press it three times so you get the metal eye bar up in the top left hand corner, put it onto the wall, press the button on the left and when you hear that it's calibrated. As I move it over what it's picking up there is the protective corner strip underneath the plasterboard but you'll see me now I'm going to put it over a screw on the kiddie gate and it'll pick that up as well. There you go, so just pick that up and further down also. Alright, so the next one I'm going to do is the uh, power one. So if we just scroll through, so there's your metal and there's your power. Right, now one thing that I want to show you is it doesn't pick up on metal because it is just for something where there's power which is useful. So calibrate it against the wall. Now if you remember, there's a metal edge running down here, yet when I move this across it doesn't pick up on any metal there. Um, what we'll do is I'll just calibrate it on another wall. Right, okay, so let's do the power detection. So uh, move it through the stud onto where you've got the almost coffee bean like looking thing and then we'll calibrate it on the wall. Let's calibrate it. Uh, the power is up here if I'm not mistaken. So if I take it across, once I get up there, there you go, let's pick that up. And again, and last time there we go and if i take it over to this side there's nothing so that's uh that shows that all right this is probably the best way to show this um so switch it on take it through to coffee all right just calibrate it okay so as you can see that's switched off there if I put that over, it's not bringing anything up, yeah, but so it, there's metal in it and it's still not picking that up because we don't want it to. Yeah, as soon as I switch it on, it picks it up and obviously it shows the, the lightning bolt there. Turn it off and there's nothing. Turn it on and it picks it up, which is exactly what you want. So all in all, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, there's no bells and whistles on it there's more expensive ones out there that could be more accurate but you've seen it in operation you've seen what it can do uh you've got your visual and your audio bits on it it picks up wood it picks up metal and it picks up uh, power so that's what i need and that's why i've got it